Hello everybody and welcome back. I was just made aware uh, that uh, part 4 in this video series was the audio went away. So I am re-recording it. Um, I will take the other video down and put the new one up. But anyway, uh, we were preparing to uh, finish up our hand and then take it out and attach it to our base mesh so I'm just gonna do uh, just a little bit of, of tweaking here maybe not a lot um, you can just judge uh, how much uh, extra tweaking you want to do and uh, just whatever you're satisfied with but in order to keep the uh, time down a little bit on this video I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and uh, uh, leave it like this so I've got uh, let's go ahead and save this um, control s okay so this is the hand uh, blend file now I'm going to go in here to file and I'm going to open uh, the base mesh um, up okay and now let's find our cursor let's uh, shift S uh, cursor to the center okay now let's go into edit mode now let's just go ahead and select this uh, vertice on the end of the wrist here and then I'm going to go shift S to bring up my 3D cursor menu and I'm going to go cursor to selected okay that should work uh, I don't know if that's going to do any good or not anyway I am still fairly new to blender not new to modeling but new to blender so uh, I will make some mistakes here and there so hopefully I don't confuse you and I apologize when I do make a mistake so anyway let's open up a uh, file uh, well first we need to go tab back into object mode and then go to the file menu and then we need to scroll down here to append uh, you can either access that through the file menu or use the hotkey shift F1 so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna find my hand uh, blend just gonna click on it and then I have some folders that open up here and I'm just gonna select object and then I'm going to select hand. Uh, it is a good ideal to make sure that you name your objects um, in your outliner um, so you can find them when you append a file. Okay, uh, putting the cursor there didn't matter at all, did it? I uh, thought maybe it might uh, import it or append it. To where the 3d cursor was but it didn't but that's not a problem because and now we can go shift s and selection to cursor and what that do does is you can see is moves our hand object right there to the end of our arm now we need to uh, let's go ahead and go to front view and yeah, let's go to orthographic and let's just go ahead and begin to scale this down I just use the S key to scale and now let's rotate this on the Y axis let's say 90 degrees R Y 90 on the numpad and enter Okay, I think we may need to scale it down a bit more. Let's go to the top view. Shift C. Okay, um, this is the X axis. Um, going right along here, so. Um, wow, what's that? Go away. 
Okay, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and rotate this on the uh, x axis 90, r, x, 90. There we go. Now we can press the S on the keyboard and scale down. Do we think it's about proportionally correct? And I think that will do it. Okay, so now uh, with my hand selected, uh, we are in object mode. I'm going to shift click on uh, my base mesh and then under the object tools I'm going to click join. And what we did was just uh, joined our hand uh, to our base mesh so now they are one object. So let's go back into edit mode and let's see let's grab this vertice right here in the center of the arm and go ahead and have our X key and delete it. Okay and we'll uh, go ahead and select this loop here and we're going to go ahead and s begin to scale it and tweak it uh, to start matching up with our hand and we'll do the same thing with the hand grab that edge loop let's see let's grab all of those uh, I'm going to uh, select one vertice and then I'm going to hold the control key and the plus key on my numpad to grow my selection and then let's go ahead and bring that up a little bit and match it uh, a little bit better there. And I think that may work. Let's grab this back edge loop here. Scale it up just a bit to better match our wrist. Maybe down just slightly. And I think that will work. Let's grab this loop on the wrist though and bring it up maybe just a little bit. So we're fairly close to matched up there. And I think that'll work. So now I'm gonna I'll click that edge loop and alt shift click this edge loop. I have to select both of those and I'm gonna hit my W key loop tools and then bridge and we just created a bridge and join those two mess, uh, meshes together uh, let's grab this edge loop here to have my X key and I'm gonna delete that edge loop and uh, usually anytime I use a bridge or delete an edge or whatever I like to uh, hit my A key to select all my vertices and then remove doubles and as you can see we removed eight extra vertices there so we can actually go in here and grab this edge and maybe scale it or maybe vertex smooth the vertex a little bit yeah that's a little bit better Actually, this there's some vertices that really need to be tweaked there on the hand. I think uh, that whole hand needs to be rotated around. Um, and maybe another edge in here. Get things looking a little better. Anyway, that's how you uh, attach the two together. And I'm not gonna work on that anymore. Uh, that's basically it. That is our base mesh. And uh, oh, one more thing. Let's uh, go over here, and we need to apply our mirror modifier. Make sure you have to be in object mode. And that is it. There is our base mesh. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video series. And um, like I say, I am not new to modeling, but I'm 
fairly new to Blender. I've been digging into it a couple of months now. So, uh, when I get a few more things figured out, I will do some more modeling tutorials. And, uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video series. Uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, like this video. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.